welcome back whenever you are talking about programming or when you are working in a specific application or a project you would hear this term legacy code a lot what does that really mean and how you can avoid legacy code that's basically what we would be discussing in this specific video legacy code is old code right is that right is that what you think too old code is what is legacy code yep that's the standard definition but i have a simple variation on the definition of a legacy code i think any code for which you cannot improve the design any further is legacy code any code where making changes is very very difficult is legacy code any code which does not really have great unit tests or great design is legacy code why because i cannot improve it further i cannot make design modifications making enhancements to it is very very difficult because if you don't have tests then you would not be willing to refactor the code and that would mean that you are sitting idle and you would make the minimum changes that are needed to make the code work and that means that the design of the application will not improve and over period of time maintaining your code becomes difficult so my definition of legacy code is code which is difficult to maintain it's not the age of the code which is important it's the maintainability of the code which is really important make your choice whether it's old code whether it's code with tests code with a lot of technical debt or code with a lot of out to date frameworks out of date frameworks or languages that's what is typically legacy code right so you can decide which one you would want to pick for me the most important thing is code which is difficult to maintain is what is legacy code the challenges with maintaining legacy code you know making changes to it is very very difficult you try to do something and something else happens you have a large code base large team and large release cycles making any change is difficult so you have to be cautious you have to test it extensively you don't have automated tests that means you have to spend a lot of time testing it and so releasing it would take a long time now the important question is how do you deal with legacy code how do you ensure that you are not making it worse first thing that you need to make sure is to have good code review processes at least for new changes make sure that you have good code review the next important thing is to at least identify what are the important areas important areas in terms of changes important areas in terms of things which might make maintaining it very simple and make sure that you at least refactor them have unit tests built around them so make sure that you have good unit tests around at least the most important areas when we talk about legacy code when we talk about big applications it might be difficult to write unit tests for everything at least for the important areas try and identify them try and separate them and try and write good unit tests the other thing you can start doing is to do static analysis so use tools like sonar st implement static analysis and make sure that you are running static analysis tools in continuous integration other options are to have automated regression tests writing good unit tests is difficult writing good integration tests are, is difficult so try and automate the regression test suite have a integration test or a user acceptance test which is automated and see if you can actually develop new functionality outside using new architecture and maybe use a service or maybe expose rest services to connect with the legacy code in this video we talked about legacy code any code which is difficult to maintain is legacy code and we talked about what are the different things that you can do when you have legacy code in 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300000 learners across platforms like udemy safari online and packed we have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months the question is what do you want to learn next we are building solutions to help programmers at all levels you can learn programming with our awesome courses on java python and javascript You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular and Spring Cloud.
we have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.